Hi everyone, Siege back here with another Monster Train Wildenton video. Oh god guys, I was looking at the next run that we're going to do for today. And I just found out it's going to be Wildenton and oh dear god, Dregs. Oh, <laughs> I'm really scared. I don't know what to do. So yeah, uh, I've been struggling with Wildenton. Um, I'm gonna be honest with that. In the last three runs with him has been a nightmare trying to figure out what to do, what to pick, where to go. Yeah, all the decision making is pretty high up there with Wildenton. I, I would actually say, and yes, I have problems with, with Tethys, that Wildenton might just be a little more difficult than Tethys. I've had a lot of practice with Tethys. Maybe that's the reason why I'm saying this. But so far, with Wildenton having Root Seeds, which is one of the best um, starter cards, it's pretty difficult to really play with him. Uh, the only benefit I do like with this champion is I get to be flexible in terms of my Ring 4 and Ring 7 choices. I am able to pick Ember and space much more comfortably because of the power of root seeds so at least we have that going for wildenton um tethys has frozen lances that are not so great but we just have to figure out how do we deal with dregs and root seeds in the coming combat so strap yourselves in this is gonna be another bumpy ride with wildenton and Drag. So let's get on in, in the train and let's see what we have to do for today. Okay. It's Exile Awoken with Default Melting. We have Plating Seal Daedalus. We have Spell Shield Fell. And we have Sap Seraph. Okay. I'm fine with this combo. Not very many threatening guys. Just a lot of annoying mechanics. Sap. Um, spell shields and damage shields. I think I'll be fine though. We are starting with not so great a set of cards. Sharpen, not very great. Gives spikes that provides access to backline. That's good. We have hollow drippings which enables burnout lines. I like that. Take note of hollow drippings though and how it's different with... Wax and Spike. Wax and Spike applies Burnout to everyone regardless if they have Burnout. Hollow Drippings only targets those with Burnout to get extra Burnout. So, something to keep in mind with this different type of Burnout Extenders. Um, we have Fire Grow here with less to draw next turn with plus one Ember for the next the rest of the battle, actually. Now... Going back to Hollow Drippings, you also have um, your Wick Wicklash, Wicklash that extends similarly to Wax and Spike and as well as Purifying Cleanse. They add Burnout to someone that does not have Burnout. So it's only Hollow Drippings that only targets Burnout specific units. So weird. Don't know why they did it that way. Okay, so what do we have today? Temple. 2, 4, 5, and 7. Okay, 4 temples. That's fine. Can work with that. We have Ring 8, Steel Shop Vortex, Magic Shop Dupe. Mm -hmm. Fair. Spread. Steel Shop, Dead Sing Ring 7. Opposite a very good Magic Shop. I always say very good or awesome or amazing. If the side has 2 upgrades that are not health and money. So Horde and Caverns here is just perfect. Chef's Kiss. Now with Trinket Shops, you do usually want value on both of them um, if you don't have money. So if I have, I see a Trinket Shop and I see money on its side or in the middle, I would say it's a decent Trinket Shop here. But here, it's even more greater because of the extra removals and the cavern. So 6. We might have uh, leaning in on the left side. Steel Shop here is not that awesome. 
but decent because of the money. We don't need to take a trial of money if we can skip it because we have money on that side as well. Ring 5 is a removal... No, it's a dupe, hey, dupe ward caverns. Usually one to removal dupe caverns, but this one is also very powerful. The magic shop is not that great, but you do have money there coming in. So you'll be able to do a lot of things with the money that is in the side of the shop as well. Ring 4, we have a horde with money and health. This is pretty bad. Um, opposite that is a magic shop awoken vortex. Very powerful if we could use it. Vortex is always amazing. Can increase the consistency of your deck. Ring 3, we have a steel shop with health. Dupe with remnant banner could be useful for self-infused paraffin enforcer. Maybe extra copy of a stealth tomb. Those things. We have a bannerless magic shop and a steel shop with a remnant banner. So let's assess the magic shop. Magic shop is basically again root seeds minus ones. The plus 10 is dead. Less than magic power. The consume is also kind of dead. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then a double stack. Maybe on hallowed shippings. Permafrost. Maybe on discards. Uh, remove consume. I maybe into hollow drippings and hold over is pretty much dead. So I think it's a forced remnant steel shop side that we're going to visiting there. Now let's check the horde today. What do we have? Ooh. Sketches. I don't think it's sketches. I do like what I see into flicker slicker though. I was complaining about dregs not being very helpful with Wildenton. But thanks to Flicker Slicker here, those dregs are useful to make our other cards free. Basically, the Sharpens get to be played if they get hit. And similarly, the Train Stewards also manage into making other cards free. So it's like an Ember Relic here. Let's take it. We have a Forge. Ooh. So no Thorn Lord today. Both Strangler and Predator are offered to us. How do I feel about this? Quick. Hmm. It's a remnant line. That's the first thing I would like to consider here. It's a remnant line. So, with remnant, or melting to be exact, our units are tombs. I'm considering like a tomb in the back with a multi-strike. I've tried that and it works. Problem is they're not banner units. So that's a bit harder to manage. Usually we're looking at an angle of maybe a wickless baron here. Or a big sludge. Maybe encasement defense and then a sweeping guy you have a lot of defensive lines on melting i could find the reform i could find stealth which could bring back my dead champion i could make this remnant unit tank for me in terms of clearing floors the sweeper into wildenton is something i should be considering now how do i keep him alive Currently, I have no way of doing that. Um, basically, relying on quick. I don't think it's correct usually to start with quick predator. I do feel like the strangler line here is a little bit better. Again, no way to keep it alive, but I could chump block with the dregs in front of him. And train stewards, I could buff him up with again sharpens and root seeds, which should get me out of the first ring combat. Now, if I'm considering quick here, I should also look into the consideration of since I'm seeing a remnant banner coming into ring 
to the remnant banner. Yeah, the units I put behind him if I'm not considering space. It's pretty tight unless I want to consider a draft. A baseline draft to draw into. That's going to be good for the quick. But without it, I don't have trample. I would have a hard time clearing floors. So I think I go with the sweeper line here. Could see stealth tomb and reform. So eventually by ring two and three, I should know what to do with my line. So we can go with Strangler for now. I think that is correct. It's not much more damage with Quick and just the same amount of HP. And I do have Root Seeds here and Spikes. So the Quick will also be wasted on the Spikes. Yeah, let's take the Strangler out here. Now, what's the plan here? This is a 4 Temple run with 1 on Ring 5. Um, the temple can give me what? Intrinsic is good on Pyro. I would probably take that. Uh, Tenant Piercing dead right now. Intrinsic on Hollow Drippings is also sometimes considerable. Plus 30 is dead. A minus 2 in Sharpen is not a very good idea. Good Intrinsic Spell Chain Pyro for 5 Ember and... Not, th not think about anything else. But we do have Flicker Slicker here. Now, if I take that forward, can I answer the backline? Maybe with Sharpen. But if I'm Chomp blocking with Train Stewards, that's gonna be a bit hard. Which means I... Put a train steward behind instead and buff that unit with root seeds. Hmm. How do I feel about that? Horde. Another horde. Hmm. I should get enough damage here, right? The problem is accessing the back line. Um, once I swing in front. I only have 30 HP though. It's not high. I'm really struggling with the first ring decisions here. Oh dear. Will the turn, why are you doing this to me? Hmm. Can I take it? Maybe. Root seeds, train steward, sharpen. So I could play all of these, have a very high stat line. I think I can. Ooh, I like the encased ember in. It's a perspective take though. How about Capricious? Wing clippings? Would I want to play multiple pyre grows and hollow drippings? I don't think so. Fairly Capricious though. Those could mess up my units. And I would not be happy to see that. This ember on encased ember seems tempting. It's tempting. But what if I don't roll into a tomb? It's dead. Capricious though is helpful in its own right. Is it a Capricious Reflecting run here? I do like the encased ember. Could really give me a lot of things to work with. But again, I do have to roll into a tomb for that to take effect. Bo all these two these two relics do nothing right now for me maybe I should not have clicked that double remnant banner coming in well let's roll into the tomb 
Hmm. Ember, sap, spell shield, fell. No curse combats here. So the ember is. Where would the ember go? X cost cards. Well, spike of real spike and wax and spike. Both good. Let's take the encased ember then. Okay, it's that guy. Oh dear. You have a sweeper though, so we do have access to backline here. But the spikes though, that's gonna kill my guy. No. Definitely not. Yeah, that definitely kills my guy. Yep, turn that off. Can't take that. It's bad for our health. I do want to save my dreg. So play train steward into Wildenton and buff him up. The dreg... I don't want to waste it. Okay, collector... It was nice knowing you. Let's play root seeds here. Okay, there's a 9 by 5 coming up. That's how much damage. Shoo. Have to prepare for that though. I, mean, I think I'm already on dead zones here. I do have sharpen. Hmm. If I can put... Uh, this train steward play though is already messing me up. Hmm. Do I just burn these cards? No. Hmm. I should chill here, right? Yeah, that 9 by 2 is a scary unit to be facing. I guess I take... How much damage am I taking in this next combat? Um, if I play the train steward, it takes two. Well, I could actually play the drag in. And then put... Sharpen on it. So that when this guy swings, he goes down to four. Or one. And then I sharpen play upstairs again. On the train steward, he goes down to 3. I protect Wildenton. Yep, that is a play we could make. Okay. Sh train steward. So 2, 9... And then he swings on my train steward again. So I drop this guy bottom floor. Okay. Um, two. Nine. I put sharpen here. Yep. I play train steward. Oh, big brain sharpen place here. What do I draw into coming up? I need to do the sharpen place then. Six, five. I think if I play the drag here, I get to swing. Once. That's nine armor out. Hmm... My, do I have units left in the pool? Yes. So I've played the train steward here. I get to swing for 5 and 9. 14. Then he takes 2 hits again. Yeah, that's 23 damage. I like it. Mm-hmm. Okay. The sharpened play needs to happen here once more. Ooh, for me to 
make do with the discipled foot soldier in the back. Now, putting sharpen in front. Hmm. How does that work out? Do I have a dreg coming up? Double dregs? Double dregs train stewards? Might need to play the dreg upstairs and extend its burnout. Definitely need to play sharpen here. Um, and then I guess I play a drag upstairs. Extend, give it root seeds and hollow drippings twice. Okay, can I get out of this? I play another drag. In. I root seeds. Who takes the root seeds here? Um, definitely the guy in the back. Ooh. That was close, guys. That was very close. But we got out of this without any damage taken. The spikes would have been death. Okay, no collector. We see edge prior, which I don't know what I'm going to be doing with that unit. A sting. Not so good. I do like the restoration dissonation here. Some form of healing would be nice. Mm -hmm. They give me a drip fall. A purifying cleanse. A heal. I do have already one. And a scaling card. Let's pick up the Wick Lash and that with Hollow Dripping should be enough burnout management. We will rely on Awoken for their own heals, so I don't think I'll be taking Purifying Cleanse here. Let's take the Wick Lash. That's scaling. Hmm. So little money. Very little money here. Now, I do have a steel shop coming up into ring three. The hell vent here, probably the dupe would go into a wicklash. Again, I get a banner unit there. Can I survive with just Wildenton? No banner unit. I feel like going here because that gives me 75 gold. Gives me minus one into root seeds, but in an X5 possible target. I don't have a tomb. Did not get a tomb. Steel shop. Steel shop is basically just whatever's on top, a plus 25, then a random thing. On melting. Yeah. Brain power needs to be on for today. Could see a bounty stalker, that's bad. Thug. If I miss a multi strike, that side is pretty much dead. If I don't, like, I could hit a paraffin enforcer. Lady of the house would be nice. I mean, the burnout units would be fine. We could take a lady in front, actually. A tycoon in front. Keep those healed up. Play, I would take the lady. Both ladies are takeable. Enforcer. Baron. I guess Baron is... Baron, Baron, Wickless Baron, and Paraffin Thug are the worst. Could take the Wickless Tycoon because of its HP pool. Can use Baron there. The only bad part about that steel shop is the rerolls are pretty much dead. The good thing about the 
magic shop here is I could get minus ones. The root seeds. Prep quick lash for a possible X5. The problem with the upcoming steel shop here is no banner. Which means I'd have to go to the dupe then, coming up. My champion is a sweeper. So, and I do have buff cards and a burnout extension. So, I think he can stand alone on himself. Right now, I could again chomp block with train stewards. I now have a heal to use. And some better scaling. So I think I can make the magic sharp work a little better here. If I see a hold over on Wicklash, that's gonna be powerful. Yeah, let's take the magic shop here. Weird as it may be, I think it's good enough. They do give me a spell chain here. Spell chain Wicklash is perfectly fine. I don't think I need to put it on holdover. Just use that. Go into the remnant side here. Dupe that card. That's going to be very good, actually. Tenant piercing. Not really. Take the money. The double stack is not needed. I don't need to double up the burnouts on these cards just yet. Plus 10... Okay, do I take the minus one now? I go to 150 gold. I reroll. If I see the holdover, I can take it. If I spin this and I see the holdover. No, I don't want the holdover, anyways, right? I just said I'm gonna do a quick lash spell chain. I mean, if they show it to me for free, I guess I take it. Do I put the plus 10 on restoration detonation here? Have a very decent heal. I don't think I'd do that. Because the holdover would be good. No, no. The holdover would not be good. Let's take the magic power. And then spin this. Yeah, it's not there anyways. Good. Good decision making. Root seeds? Yes. Okay, we made a lot of value in that magic shop. And I'm gonna take a little more value by taking the spell chain on Wicklash here. And dupe this next ring. No infusions. I don't need to take the tenon piercing here. That's too aggro. I dupe that card here coming up. And we should be fine. Move on. Yep. I like our decision making there. Unit draft. I said I was looking for a unit. This could be that unit. The plus four though. Can I survive the plus fours? This Reconcilers are going to be hitting for 5. I have 30 HP. But I could do the Sharpen place. Is that reliable enough? This guy's going to hit for 6, 11. I'm going to die if I do that. Sharpens are not going to save me there, really. The heal... I have a heal, but if I don't connect on this in a timely manner, Wildenton just dies. Hmm. Unit draft here. Could be something that I'm looking for. I mean, this boss also has spikes, by the way. Um, I have 24 cards. I draw some stuff. I scale with Wicklash. I s can't really reform units. I think this is too risky. 
which means I have to rely on this two banners. We am seeing two banners anyways. Let's turn this off. This could be the death of us. We are currently at 30 shards. Yeah, I would be taking 8 plus 5, 13. That's almost half my HP gone already. It's not a good thing to have happen to us. Let's buff ourselves and I will play into Pyrogrow here. Since I drew it early. So 4, 1. Perfectly survivable here. Get the collector, which is nice. Okay, right here, we are gonna take serious heat. Um, I hit him for 39. He is left with 26. He swings at me at 8. That goes to another 8, 16. I go down to 24. Yeah, that's the threat of that plus damage trial. Too hard for me to consider. Too high. Well, I have the... You know, the root thing. But again, I'm taking 7 right now. This would have been... Like... How much damage right now? I will be almost on death's door. Thanks to that. So, extend burnout here. Curse go out. Can I swing bottom floor? I guess I could remove the armor. Yep. Please do away with the armor there. This one as well would be a lot scarier. I don't have my heal yet. Oh no. Let's play... Root Seeds. Um, I could play the drag in. I think I play the double burden and then I play the drag. But I get one sharpen for sure in. Okay, we barely survive actually here. What is the play here? I play... I guess the drag goes at back. How much do I take in the pyre here? Ooh, we go down to 5. Ugh. What would have happened if we had the trial? I added the trial there. We would have been basically non-existent and dead. Um, I feel like the Wildwood Sap should be taken here. When I take whatever Remnant Banner is here. Take the Wildwood Sap. Do I take the Heal? Or the Draft Friend? Draft Friend goes well into whatever unit that is. Don't think I need another Wicklash. How about the Purifying Cleanse? Double up on the heals. Extend Burnout. Multi-Strike though. It's offered. I should think I should take it. I skipped one Steel Shop. Hmm. Purifying Cleanse? Keep Wildenton alive? Yeah, take the Purifying Cleanse here. We need to survive. I need a banner unit as well. What do you have for me? A Wickless Baron. I mean, I can take the Paraffin Enforcer here. He has 5 more, 10 more health. And can scale Wildenton. Could keep him alive with heals. Although, if I'm talking about tanking in front, I should think it should be the Wickless Baron. Don't have Quick, though, or something. Not certain to see the Quick. Do I take the Paraffin Enforcer here? That would have been a good draft infusion. But what I'm needing right now is a tank in front. Let's take the Enforcer. 
Do I dare take the artifact? Go to 45. Check the caverns here. What do we have? More ember. <laughs> do I dare take more ember? Do I even need more ember here? Do I need more ember? Huh. <sighs> Hmm, don't think I need Ember. I just curses that I don't want to play. Let's leave them. Okay. I have a dupe here. What would that dupe be? I could take another Paraffin Enforcer, self-infuse it, and then... Just put double plus 25s on that guy. He's my tank. He scales my back friend. Having two of them is nice. What's the best value for the dupe? I could take the quick lash here. Second copy. That's gonna give me an extra 10 shards to go to 40. There's a temple coming up. Temple could give me a plus 30. I don't have a slot for it. Spell chain, no slot. Minus 2, sharpen, but I won't do that. Then in piercing, intrinsic. Hmm. Not very many good values there. So I could either double up on the Purifying Cleanse or double up on the Spell Chain Wicklash. To really things hit things as hard as we can. 40 shards. I have a lot of units to chomp block for me. I guess I take the extra Wicklash here. I don't think I take the Horde. Stay below 40 or 50 to be exact. Don't do an infusion on ring 4. Do it on ring 5. Then I visit the steel shop. Oh my god. That was very far steel shop. I'm seeing 3 towards the late game. So I need to survive until then. Yeah. Stay away from that horde. Move on. Huh. Daedalus. This is plating seal, right? Okay. I mean, that bomb is scary. Chomp lock that with a drag. And then just chill with the enforcer. We need him later. That guy is scary. A 9x2? Oh, me. Oh, my, my. Okay, we have to do the weird shenanigan again. Let's play drag. No. Well, the drag play works, actually. Drag into Sharpen. Ooh, that guy though. Yeah, I have to do that that way. Is this correct? Throwing away all of my units? Oh, I did not notice Wil Wildenton there taking 10. Okay, let's heal Blast here. I get those two kills. But I can chomp block one of them. And then take the other on sharpen. Mm-hmm. Pyre grow to... No, let's not play pyre grow here. There's another 9 by 2 down there. I can see him. He's staring right down at me. There you go. We get the kill. Need my heals up ASAP. Where are my heals? They're not here. Oh no. Put the drag in. Put the sap in. Wicklash here and here. I play hollow drippings. Root seeds. Drop the train steward. 
Yep, so I can play in the Sharpen. I need my Paraffin Enforcer. Where are you, buddy? There you are. Hmm. This is... Na 0 to 9. This is 18 to 20. He survives. I can blast the tank away. Root Seeds. Root Seeds. Don't think I play Pyro now. Give me a heal. There you go. Let's extend burnout. Let's heal blast in front. Scale will then tend to insane levels. Do we get the kill here? Almost. Swings once and twice. I scale Wildenton here. We might just get it. Ah, oh, just short. Mm, not happening here. Okay, I need to do that a bit better. What if I put him there right now? He takes the hit. I think that's better. I try to keep that guy alive. That's a lot easier to do. Yeah, and he can start scaling myself immediately. Yeah. Hmm. Do like to play the drag one one. And then the train steward in the furthest back. Sharpen here. We drag here. Get out all the units, I guess. Okay. Where's my heal? There it is. Sharpen. I actually need two sharpens into this. I mean, the one is fine. That was wasted. Mm hmm. Heal. Okay. Twenty five HP is a bit low. Don't think I have enough. Could put double dregs in later. Mm -hmm. So the one sharpen was already gone. This does not work. Hmm. I need to put double spikes on him, is the thing? That the play here. Hmm, I think there's a way out of this. Put the sharpen in front. Okay. Mm hmm. Um, play drag somewhere else. Sharpen is now free. I hold on to hollow dripping spire grow. I need to extend their burnout later. Mm hmm. Heal in front. Important. Scale in the back. Now they both have burnout. So. This guy swinging can heal my friends in the back. I mean, can scale. Yeah, that bomb though. Um, I do have a heal. Okay, he she he survives. Good. Stand burn out more.
scale. We can play out the drag here to make the other wick clash free. Okay. Heal, please. Yes, heal is here. Mm hmm. He swings, he takes 11. Where do I to place the buffs here? Should it be Wicklash and Root Seeds, or is the Spikes play important into Daedalus? It's 12 though. Okay. Can I connect on the heels? Burnout extend, definitely. Scale in the back. Okay, big heal coming up. There you go. Okay. Whew, we secured the win. Good job, team. Good job. Okay, it was enough. Ah, scaling is there. Ooh, a quick tome. I do like the quick tome here. Definitely pick that up. Prime candidate for intrinsic. Heavy stats on Lady of the House is also good. Gibbs plus 30. He becomes a 55. Yep. 55 damage health unit with burnout 3. I do like that. I think I take the lady here. I think I have enough scaling with double wake clash root seats action. This should be enough scaling if I cycle through fast enough. I on my redraw right now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, take the lady here. That's our line. We want to see... I don't think it's space. It's definitely either ember or... It's not space. It's draw. Just see more cards. Cycle faster. Yes. Oof. Okay. We stabilized there. Um, coming into this shop, bring four here. Magic shop, again, is a lot better. Getting root seeds free is awesome. If I see an intrinsic, I might just grab it, but I do like the removals here as well. Do we have a double stack? Double stack wildwood sap is pretty good. Plus 10 on cleanse is also good. Minus 1 on root seeds is also good. I have removals. I have temple. A plus 30 is a big heal. I do like that. Removals and forge. Hmm. Strangler 2. If I pick Strangler 2, I definitely open myself out to Strangler 3. Of course, I get another 20 damage and a lot of health. Right now, it's just 10 damage and 20 health. If I pivot into Thorn Lord, I get to get get to place things which draw me faster and and i incant as well which i currently do good because of the root seeds play and the wick lashes already have quick in hand so i just have to draw into it and i should be fine I do appreciate the extra 10 health. I do lose 10 damage here. But that's 10 incants. I do lose 10 health here. But we get the ability to scale with spells. Which we again do well into. 
have click already so i don't need predator the problem with this line though is it does not have a multi-strike baked in um i do have root thanks to strangler one so i can just hit them a second time on the next turn which means my both my double guys here need to really have a lot of hp even double plus 25s is something i should consider so I, they have a lot of hp buffer until i connect with my wildwood dome yes if i hit hard enough then they don't have to take so much damage but let's take thorn lord i mean predator pivot there pretty sad that i don't have the intrinsic here which is fine i would like to do the infusion here but i think it's a bit too early to do that i'll do that on ring five what's the banner unit here yeah i don't need this to yeah they're bad skip we want to remove bad stuff here bad stuff equals train stewards okay i need to take a quick pause right here i'll resume the recording in a quick bit Okay, let's get this show on the road. Oh dear, I'm already an R into this run. Please help me. <laughs> okay, do I want the sharpens in? I guess they're not bad. They're stats. We do want stats into our front guys. So let's remove the two train stewards there. I'm avoiding that plus 30 magic power intentionally. I would take a hold over here, so I will skip the double stack there. Is plus 25 enough? Yeah, I think that should be enough healing. Take root seeds here, we spin. Remove consume. How about remove consume wildwood sap? Is that something to consider here? Another minus one. How about ensuring we get to play quick? <laughs> what would sap? Mm, plus ten. No. Minus one. I think the minus one is better here. Mm -hmm. and then I don't take anything else. I don't think I want that plus 10. I'm saving that slot for... Hold over. We move on. Oh, this guy is carry. Spell shield. Not dealing spell damage. Turn this on. Okay, we should be good here. As long as we can connect. I'll take the 45 HP lady in front this time. And then we speed our draws through. I will play the burnout here. So extend the lady. No quick as of now. That's fine. Okay, let's play what we need to play first. Then burnout on everyone. I have two units and two spells. So I can get rid of the curse. I can play the drag here. Makes the sharp and free. And then I play the train steward somewhere, which makes the whiplash free. And I think I'll take fire grow here. I have enough draw, I think. But this is fine. 
I do see quick. Good. And now we just play cards whenever we see them. Okay. Quick Clash. I have two units and several spells that I want to get hit. Get the curse out first. I want the scaling. Play the drag. Heal is not needed. Play the Wildwood Sap, get it out. Play the Train Steward, which heats the Sharpen. And then play everything else for the Incants. Okay, here it's just Contrition, Contrition, Root Seeds, Sting, Dreg. Okay, can I get those skills there? Not really. Curse out, of course. Heal Blast in front. Sting, Root Seeds. Double Root Seeds here. Good. Yeah, I guess Wildenton really likes to carry his runs by himself. Right? That's what I'm seeing here. Burnout Extend in front. Hitting for 150, you need around 4 rounds to get through the enemies, but that's fine. Again, I just need my front guy to survive enough time so that I can swing myself to victory. Good. Huh. Another Pyre Grow, big heal, invigorating. Don't need these things, we skip. The Rushing Demise is a good card. Although Fatal Melting is also here. But since we sweep, I think we're fine. Let's take Rush here. Okay, I see a dupe and a cave. And a horde. Is that important for me? Hmm... I'm looking to stack the region, I think. I think that's an important part of this win. Also, Crushing Demise is also decent. Can't really do an overstack in the cavern, so the caverns are less desirable for us. Let's go to the magic shop here. Tempo, what do you have for me? A spell chain? Ooh, I do like the intrinsic here. Definitely snap click that into Wildwood Dome. We need that as soon as possible. Now here, it should be the Lady into the Paraffin Enforcer for more HP. And then when he hits, he now generates Rage, which should be additional scaling for our friend. I do see a spell chain here. I feel like I should be taking that into Crushing Demise. Feel like that's an important play. Or I could just crush one unit every turn. That's also a thing. Holdover does not seem important now for Purifying Cleanse because of the quick intrinsic. So I feel like crushing one unit every turn rather than two every draw through. Is that good? Would I rather heal every turn? No, the quick is... We should cycle through the heals fast enough and then I do plan on playing Wildwood Sap. So I think crushing something every turn. That does take up one card draw. I do draw a lot though with root seeds and stings. So let's take the hold over crushing demise here. Take a plus 10 into purifying cleanse. I'll take a 10 in piercing in the restoration detonation if I see it. Spin. Double stack. I'll definitely take that on Wildwood Sap right now. Another minus 1. 
Root seeds. Root seeds take that. Okay. And then spell chain, I guess I skip. Don't need it. I just take the infusion right now. Of Lady, right? Because Enforcer does not really give HP. This is 45 health versus 55 health. I don't think I'd encounter burnout problems. I do draw fast enough. I would have three turns to see something and I should. Yeah, so I could do the Lady into the Enforcer. Yes, I do like that setup. And we move on. Ooh. Armor 15 is fine. We can take this. That encased ember is dead. <laughs> it did not even matter one bit. Wildwood Tome. Yep, play it in. Do I take the Sharpen right now? It's more damage, I guess. I'll play this later. Sorry, Collector. I guess I don't get you. Root Seeds. Wick Flash. Rage. Hollow Drippings. Okay, play this. I have three spells and... I guess I play the train steward first. And then the dreg. And then the other dreg. Everything's free. Let's play everything in the back. We need to hyperscale that bot guy. Enough that he kills things mostly two times at least. That sweeper though is annoying. I guess I save the units. Do I? If they don't hit anything, I guess I save them. Yep, I guess I do that. Okay, here's my holdover crushing demise. I do like me that card. Field blast, good. Crush. Well, I guess I need to get rid of them anyways. They are bad draws. Good. Sting, sting, root seeds, sharpen, fire grow, crush again. I yeah, just crush every turn as soon as you draw into it. Play wildwood sap now. Sharpen, crush. I guess it does not work on the mini boss. It'd be scary if it did. I guess I should have played the spikes in front, right? Root seed, root seed. Wick flash, wick flash. I guess I dropped the crush. Right? Root seed, drop the train steward. Sharpen becomes free. I guess I should not have played that. Okay, uh, sharpen here. Ooh, I'm missing damage here. Not enough. I guess 55 health is not enough. Okay, I need to put the spikes, I guess, in front. I guess so. Spikes need to be played in front. Good. Hmm. Okay. I need some plus 25s into this unit, though. Play... No, train steward first. Dreg. Dreg. Hmm. Root seeds. Hollow drippings. 
Greg, Train Steward, Fire Girl goes out. Hmm. Did they take a remove consume? No, it's a double stack. Is the crushing demise slowing me down? It might be. Guess I don't play it. Mm hmm. Seeds go out. Whiplash. Whiplash. Okay, is this a little better? Yep, it is a little better. Yeah, the spikes needed to be in front. Is the change up here. There you go. Yep. Just spikes needed to be in front. Good thing I did not remove those. Whew. Okay, adaptive mutation. That can give Wildenton a lot of HP. Like, at least a hundred would be nice. And then I switch things over. Yeah, and I do have rage. Yep, let's take it. Ooh, you want Ember Remnant who is a tomb? I could play it. Uh, I think Mortal Entrapment is the take here. Because of sweepers having access to backline. I think we need some HP on the front guy now. I think that's definitely a thing we need to do. They're currently without upgrades. Take a plus 25. Yes. Hmm. Spin. Ooh. Tempting. Okay. Do I take this? Do I take the multi strike? I guess if. I'll think about that later. Well, I guess I don't have anything to think about. There's nothing in that shop. Okay. Now, why should I think about this? The multi-strike only play comes into play if Wildenton does not kill everything in one sweep. Now, is there a floor that hits for more than 80? I guess in Divinity, I always get to swing into something. Because I'm considering if I need to, if I want to take the multi strike. That does give me 6 rage on 2 hits every time. If I double up on the Wildwood Dome, where could I do that? I could double up the Wildwood Dome. To allow the tank to swing before, which ensures he gets rage. Which also means I get to use the, the adaptive mutation. Is 80 health enough? I mean, my Wildenton is running at 40. I also have to consider taking space and playing mid-floor. Because how the hell am I keeping my floor alive? 
into Divinity Sweep. I guess I have Daze. Mortal Entrapment is here. I have Heals cycling through. Two of them. And I have a Wildwood Sap. Think this needs to happen? Yes. I wanted the other plus 25, but I guess this is my setup now. Now I have 200 gold. Um, I can always do infusions. I have spells to take plus 30s. Then in piercing as well, right? No, I only have one, I think. That, no, I have mortal entrapment anyways. Takes minus two as well, well. Is there anything to cut in my deck? Double train stewards. I could cut two of them, but I'm going into a magic shop and I need money. So we chill at 75. We move on. Okay, we now have beefy units in front. This is... Spell shield fell, which I don't really think matters to me. Okay, so it's... Enforcer again into... I guess I could have changed that up. Okay, let me change that up. Did not look at my cards well there. I can avoid the Ember Drain thanks to the turn 1 Crushing Demise. So we play this and we crush. And then we play Enforcer, Wildenton. We quick on Wildenton and we scale him up. Immediately. Like, very quickly. Yeah, the Incant 2 here eventually helps me out. Play that and then this. Definitely need the Sharpen here. And then let's crush something downstairs. That's a, that has a big guy there. Want to get rid of that guy. Okay, so much dregs here. This is Incant. So I can just drop... All the dregs here on, in the world. Can I? Not yet. Okay, we cleanse in front. Hollow drippings. And then I guess I crush middle. Okay. Not, can't play it into spell yet. Am I generating rage? Yes, I am generating rage. That is very much appreciated. Play this drag, this guy, Wicklash. And I can, yeah, there's the health scaling. Crush, middle. I guess I could drop, stop playing the crush actually. I don't need it. It's just taking up a draw. Yeah, let's drop it. Sadly, I don't have double quick here um but we'll make do with what we have i guess can i crush can i no not yet should have played that wildwood sap though could help me sustain i guess i should have picked up double crushing but i guess this shard count would be a bit problematic get the damage in yeah, once I get to ring 7, I should double up the speed of the incants and we should scale faster. Okay, drop this card. It's time for it. It's about to hit Relentless. Um, Should I do the switch up? No. Can we win though? We're hitting for like 200 per round. Around 250 right now. Is that enough to win? Yep, it is enough to win. Only barely though. Need really to increase the speed of this. And I can play this, so we're all good. Ah, go Wildenton. Carry your own run. Remnant pack. 
rail spike is here. I mean, I do generate ember. But I feel like I want the remnant packs for security reasons. Um, does draw more things? Okay, consideration for space. No, it's just card draw. I can play top floor. Go to the magic shop. Look for some other good things. Remove consume. Like, I could do it on quick. It's a bit expensive though, but I think it's fine. I do like the remove consume on quick so that I can play it on my friends. Both of them. So that they both have quick. Minus one here. Um, I think Root Seeds takes that. Plus 10. No. Remove Consume. Could put that on Wildwood Sap, but that's a bit expensive. Hmm. I want double endless. I don't. If I'm doing double endless, I think I'm doing something wrong. I like the double quick so that um I can take better advantage of the other card. I'm seeing another magic shop, so I should still see some better upgrades there. So, I guess I take remove consume quick. Spin. Another holdover. You know what? Mortal entrapment seems like a good candidate. Do I have a minus two here? Oh, they give me another intrinsic. Remnant pact? Play it turn one. Ensure our utmost survival. Or do I just take fire grow in? Hmm, weird options. Champion. I do like the 70 health here. It gives me a lot of chunkiness. I do like the improved firebox though. Hold over. Considering hold over on... Because I have how much ember? I have flicker slicker. Don't have a unit though. But what's the status of my deck? Um, on the redraw, I have one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16. I'm drawing 7. I should see the mortal entrapment fast enough, right? Which means I just need to be able to play it every time I see it. I don't need it on holdover. Yep, let's put a minus 1 on it. Consume. No. Temple Intrinsic? Nope. I guess I Intrinsic the Remnant back here for security measures. I have 85 shards. Can I get to 100? Take that. Dupe something. Dupe something with shards. I guess the Remnant pack would be dupe for 5. Right? Have both of them on Endless. Could always dupe the Whiplash. Yep. So, Caverns? Hmm. Wildwood Sap. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Fine. I think I move on from here. Yeah, we should have the ingredients for a victory here. I do see the line to the big red X. Heaven seal should not be a problem because we have root. 
I mean, it's weird turn one. It's this, this guy, you endless the champion, you quick the champion, you scale him. Okay, I'm just replay everything upstairs now. Play the root seed, play the wick lash, play the hollow drippings, hollow drippings. Um, I guess I don't want to play these things. I guess I get rid of the dregs now. Um, sure, I'll play you. I think it's better if they're not there and it, they incant as well. Okay, I mean, just incant. Root seeds out. I guess I can play the entrapment. Yeah, would have been very bad if that was on holdover. Can't play it. Take a permafrost on it though. Okay, root seeds. Root seeds. Let's play pyre grow somewhere. Drag. Train steward. Should always play the train steward first, right? Right. I guess now I play into the crushing demise. There are very big units here. Double quick now enabled. Problem with that quick though is it stays in the deck. Which is a bit annoying, but I guess it's an incant. Maybe I see Split Anvil? Or is that a Stygian exclusive card? Heal, heal. Can I adaptive here? What happens if I click adaptive here? I mean, they're still rooted, so it doesn't even matter. I'll just hit them until forever. I'll just scale back up then. I have decent scaling. If they leak, it's perfectly okay. I mean, they don't get to leak. Okay. And then I just continue to incant. Let's press the cards. Click, 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 click. Yep, we win. I get... Do I... I don't even have a damaging spell to really click on. Ugh, it's only for Divinity, that card. There you go. Healing. Edge Prior. Restoring Retreat. Fire Shard. Skip. Votivari. Eh. Votivari? How about Memories of the Melted? Do I need that card for anything? No, we skip. Maybe I take Sacred Wicks for Reform in case. No, I have Endless. Huh. It's now it's time for the Magic Shop. What do you have in the temple? Spikes. Spikes deal plus one damage per stack. Okay. How about Jack Strips? Jack's ship should be better. How about a double stack? How about a double stack mortal entrapment? That seems like a good idea. Click that. Consume a card. No. Minus one a card. I'd say... Yes to that. Make sharpen free. I mean make sharpen cost one less. Yeah, let's make sharpen cost one less. And then we spin. They give me a remove consume. Remove consume wildwood sap. I'll take that. Hmm. Yep, I will take that. The minus one in it. Yep, that's good. I think that's it for the magic shop. What do we do with the dupe then? Get the second mortal entrapment, secure divinity. I guess that's correct.
yeah, having two of them cycling is, I think, well, it's already six. I should cycle fast enough before that runs out, so I don't need to do that part. I could take a second remnant pack and just endless this other guy. Don't think that's correct though. Maybe just another wick lash here. Yep, take the money. Temple, what do you give me? Is Jack Strips important? I don't really think so. We spin. Stings? What do you mean? Fire? Uh, no. I clicked it by mistake. What the hell? Don't need that. Okay, I just threw away 230 gold. Could have removed bad stuff. I guess I take this thing. I do have five of them, right? No, just three of them. Yeah, I just removed train stewards, I guess. That was a misclick. Sad but true. Yeah, remove those two. So, yeah, I could have removed, I guess, two more cards if I did not misplay. Remove two other dregs would have been nice, but I think we're fine. Our, our line is very stable. Yeah, let's secure the 34th win. Let's go, team. Sap is not an issue. Random Firestone housing upgrade. Who would have thought things would have ended this way? Hmm. There's a weird, weird thing I can do here. Do you see it, guys? I see it. I play Wildenton. I put Endless on him. Whoa, that does not work with... I wanted to avoid the Ember Drain. I guess it does not work with what I'm trying to do. Okay, let's do that again. Oh, I spoiled the fun. Is it a big deal if I don't get to play the quick? I should cycle fast enough, right? Yeah, yeah, I should cycle fast enough. Put Endless. And then crush him. Yes, crush him. And then I put in Enforcer, Wildwood Dome. Play this three cards. And then I should get him back next turn. And then I just have to cycle fast enough. Wait, let's drop the dregs first. Dreg out. There's only one dreg here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have to drop one more thing. This. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I drop him. Gives me three more stings to play around with. Okay. Uh, did I really need to do that though? Not really. Can't play any of these cards. I will drop Crush. Maybe I play it. I tried. Okay. And now I just play until I get the quick again. I wanted the extra stings. It was nice. Drop the drag. Drop the fire grow. Heal back. Sharpen. Yeah, I should drop... I'm almost through. I think on the next cycle, I get my quick. Oh, my friend is de dying though. No. Okay, me trying to big brain the game. He's dead, right? No. Can I win without him? Did I make it a little more complicated than it had to be? Maybe I did. Oh no. Full heal. Yep. There you go. Where's the quick? 
Give me my quick. There's my quick. Heal up. Okay. Can I win without my friend? Let's see. Wildwood Sap is here. Heal. Maybe? No, I need that tank. Oh no, what did I do? I guess I have to replay this. I do have a lot of HP though. Let's see if we can muscle through. Maybe I can connect with the Daze card. That should be okay. Big heal. I'm hitting for 300 now. Do I have the days? I do. Okay. Get in. Play the cards we can play. Okay. Not enough. Need my friend. <laughs> Big brain place, not so big brain after all. So... I guess I could do it on him. Why well, it doesn't make sense to do it on him though. I guess it makes sense to do it on him because he's the tank. But to kill him just to get things out, I don't think that's correct. Okay. We play it this way. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just trying to flex a bit. Stand burnout. Drop a drag. It's a restoration detonation. Okay. Heal up, drag in, sharpen, lay pyre grow. Yeah, the extra scaling he gives thanks to the hits he do, he does, is important. Which plays into a bigger adaptive mutation. Can't play it yet. Good. Yeah, and I could have played two more soul crushing guilds at that point as well. Sharpen in the back because that's damage. Okay, he's now damaged. I can play soul crushing guilt on him. I think if I can at least play it twice, I should be in the clear. Quick on you. Okay. I need to play it at least twice. That's one. I think that's enough actually with this guy in front of me right now. Yeah, it's not gonna be a problem anymore. I'm not even able to play all of my cards. Okay, let's scale. Root seeds in. Things. Wildwood Sap. Okay. We should win here, right? Right. Don't play with the food. Siege. Don't play with the food. I even gave the enemy some damage. Yep. There you go. I knew we could do it. I just wanted to experiment on things while we're strong. Okay. Divinity. It should be a lot better because we could hit him initially and we could stack these effective starting the few turns. So again, this guy into this guy. And then we start scaling in the back. Endless on Wildenton and quick. Drag drops out. 
Not out of school, but out of the train. We sting, I mean, root seeds in. Sharpen. Play a dreg. Let's crush middle. Good, crush. Heal blast. Good. Okay, I play hollow trippings. Quick lash here. Lay the dregs out. Middle. One. Two. Three. Crush bottom floor. Good. We hit the cr the the encanter. Or I mean the harvester. I can crush the divinity now, which is good. Okay, I'm dying in front. I'm drawing into that adaptive mutation though, so we should be okay. Um, how do I solve this? Is damage enough to keep him alive? I have here this card here. I sh think I could hold on to that. I don't need to crush right now. Let's quick. Okay. And then on the next draw through, I think I definitely crush. We need to heal ourselves up. There you go. That's one. Okay, the miniboss should be dead on the next turn. Okay, my friend in front is dying once more. Should have healed him, right? Oh, there he is. There you go. He's alive. Alive and well. He's now healing from his region. Good. Where's the, where are the heals? There you go. That's a big one. Play this. Let's crush the divinity. Thing. Wicklash again. I'm leaving purge copies in. Guess that's not enough ember, really. Seven days. Is seven days enough? Yeah, seven days should be enough. Seven days? Not sure. Big heal, spikes. Yeah, we should get the victory here. Big red X. Yep, big red X. Drop the curses out. We fully heal. And we are on the clear. Good. Another an hour and 38 minutes for Wildenton. <laughs> you, sir, are very hard to navigate. There you go. Ugh. <sighs> That's four runs down into Wildenton. Six more. Oh dear. Uh. Yeah, he's he's a he's worse than Stethis, I would say. 33 34. Ding. Okay, run summary, guys. Let's make this quick. Let's make this quick. Adaptive mutation quick? No. So, how did we assemble this run? Um, Flicker Slicker is a good ember management tool, which we did use thanks to dregs. Before I started to said they were trash and I will have problems with them. Not really. So, Flicker Slicker helped with that. Encased ember here was a dead card. A dead relic. Anyway, artifact. Did not see a tomb. I did see one, the harvest tomb, but at that point, I don't even need it. We have double draw, we have firebox to play all of our cards turn one, and we have a pyrestone housing for no apparent reason. Okay. So, we ended up hyperscaling Wildenton so that he could kill the floors by himself. Hopefully with one sweep per round. And we did that by having three copies of Wicklash, minus one spell chain Wicklash. And in addition to his Incant plus two, 
Um, basically, one Wicklash here is 24 damage in. So having three of them per cycle means we scale 75 per turn cycle. And then couple that with additional incants from the other cards like minus one root seeds, all five of them. Um, that should be enough scaling. I think we ended up around 400 damage, which would kill all of the two 90s and one, swell, one fell swoop, with the mini bosses taking two at least. Um, we kept him alive with our heals, purifying cleanse, and where's that other heal? Where are you? Restoration detonation. Two heals to keep them topped off. Um, crushing Demise, I think, was a mistake here. Um, should have left it at minus one. Maybe took the hold over on a different card. Maybe even the Purifying Cleanse. I think that was better. Keep the front unit always alive. So there's that. Um, Renwim Tack for more security. Pyre Grow for more Ember. Hollow Drippings just to ease out the burnouts for everyone. Wildwood Sap was also here to, again, keep them alive till Relentless. And then we ended up looking for a day's solution, which is Mortal Entrapment. Mortal Entrapment is hard to use with flying bosses, but for Divinity, a double stack on this with minus one is six days. That should be enough for, like, two cycles of your deck. So, yeah, that nets us the 34th win of very hard runs with Wilden 10. We actually skipped two trials. And surprisingly, these two trials, we skipped two steel shops, actually. We skipped two steel shops here. Because the first one, we did not have money. The second one, because it did not have a banner unit. Not often do I do this. I was actually scared in doing this, but... I felt like we were in the right path. And yep, it ended up being the correct path. So here's another victory to Wildenton. A very hard one. So leave a like or a dislike if you enjoyed this type of content. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And as always, guys, remember, siege the day. Thank you very much for watching.